It's for my new chick, try and get fit. Say she too thick. Ain't no such thing as too thick. What you wanna be a too big? Hi loves, welcome back. So I am about to straighten my hair for the first time and I'm working on this huge piece. It's, if you know my mirror, it's like six feet tall. This piece is like four feet tall. It's like so big. So anywho, I'm about to work on that um, at probably this weekend and next week. Um, but for this video, we're actually going to be straightening some hair. So um, this is my first time straightening my hair. Let me give you a little bit of background. I'm not going to keep you too long for the intro. Um, I went natural uh, around November, the end of November in the year 2015. Of course, it is now 2018 and it is July. <laughs> yes, it's July. So um, we're going to see where my hair actually, um, how far it's come and, you know, how it's looking health wise. I feel like as of late, um, I've been wearing it more uh, like my super high puffs or my um, afro and I never wore afro before until I was at a comfortable length with my hair so I'm very happy with it this is actually the aftermath of taking out um, I had in braids for like two to three weeks um, and I was wearing them under wigs and scarves and head wraps and um, so the last like three four days I've been wearing it up in a puff like a high puff and I just been spraying um, putting water on it and stuff every day so um, yeah, I'm excited to see where it's going to go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to trim it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. I'm going to show you guys the products I'm using. I'll tell you about the flat iron and stuff when I actually flat iron and blow dry it. And yeah. So I was in the beauty supply store. It's like a huge mall. It's called Beauty World. And it's on um, Avondale, I think, Driver Road. I'm um, out here in Durham. So if you if you live around here, um, you know it's like a big like mini mall in there so I went in there and spent like so much money but I was looking for a heat protector like line something that dealt with heat and I was looking um just around I came across the Fantasia brand um and yeah this is what it looks like So this is what the bottle looks like, and it looks like that for all of the products. So it's kind of, um, you know, it stands out. So this is the heat protector sulfate-free paraben-free shampoo, and um, it just has a blow dryer and flat iron on it. And then we have the conditioner as well. And then I also grabbed like some cream and straightening spray and all this other stuff. So this is the heat protecting hair polish or straightening spray. So I know I was going to need that to spray my hair. I have two already, but I don't like the Cantu straightening spray. And then for my Tresemme one, I just really use that on wigs. So, um, yeah. So I have some heat protector styling cream. Now, I think this is for if you're doing like roller sets and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really sure if you're about to diffuse your hair. I'm not sure. But I just grabbed basically everything on the line to see what I wanted to use. So we have this, which I might use a little bit of this and this mixed together um, before I blow dry. So um, we have this and then we have a styling gel. And I think this one actually specified the roller set. Yeah, a wet set. So um, yeah, I wasn't really sure which one to grab, so I grabbed both, and this one was fairly inexpensive, and I think the whole line was actually affordable compared to other things from, like, the Chi line, which were costing, like, um, too much, okay? So let me grab my conditioner, and I'll be right back. So my hair is extremely dirty, like, I'm pretty sure you can see, like, the gel and stuff. So my hair is in desperate need of a wash. Um, those braids, like, oh my gosh. So anywho, I'm going to wet my hair with some water and aloe vera mixture. And I'm going to use the Eden Natural Deep Conditioner. I love this stuff. It made my hair feel so good when I used it. So I'm going to put this in for like an hour and put a plastic cap on and go edit a video. And then I'll come back with it rinsed out and um, I'll begin to shampoo, condition, and all that good stuff. So this is what it looks like. It's Manoy and Jojoba. And yeah, I just really love this stuff and how it makes my hair feel. 
So I'm ready to see how it's going to work when I actually blow dry it and flat iron and stuff. So I might as well section my, oh gosh, this hurts. Oh no, oh, oh gosh. I do have a dimming brush on hand, but honestly, I'm too tender headed for this. Oh my gosh. Gonna go ahead and spray my aloe vera on there. Well, water and aloe vera. So much better. Woo, girl. So now my hair is moist. <sighs> Dryized. I might make a face for everything, so don't mind that. And it doesn't always hurt. I'm just, um, like I said, I'm just extremely um, tender headed. My plastic cap on and I'm just going to uh, video edit and chill out for like an hour hour and a half and then when I rinse it out I will come back okay so I've edited a video washed out the conditioner I'm mean, probably still some residue because I didn't do like the best wash or rinsed out not washed it out so let's see how this comes out okay it's not too too thin Oh, it smells amazing. So I basically worked that through the entire head. And now I'm going to rinse it out in condition. And like I said, I'll be back to blow dry. Alright, so I just got the shower. I have my t-shirt on my head. Let me show you the flat iron. Not flat iron. Let me show you the blow dryer that I'm using. This is a Typhoon 2100. It's um, definitely nothing special. Um, I had this for a minute. Um, yeah, it's just a basic blow dryer that I got at my beauty supply store. So it's a Typhoon 2100 ceramic um, ionic. And I don't really care for it because it. Um, I think it's by Tyke. Um, but it cuts off like when it's overheating, so yeah, can't use it for too long. Anywho, I'm going to use, I decided to go ahead and use the cream, just a little bit of cream before I blow dry each section, and then I'm going to use, um, the spray when I flat iron in. I'm not going to use the gel today. Got to get it up, get the product up to the pump. I just have that much. It smells just like the shampoo and conditioner. It smells so good.
So I thought I was recording, but I'm just gonna do one more quick pass through through the entire head. Then I'm gonna get to flat ironing. the irresistible me diamond flat iron and um yeah i reviewed it when i made a bob unit and i talked about the specs and stuff like that so yeah this is not a, um a type this is not a sponsored video so i'm not going to go into details about that but i'm going to um go ahead and put that on i don't know i guess we'll start with 400 and see if that's hot enough and i know that's pretty hot for a lot of people but my hair is very coarse so girl um so i'm just going to let it it's already at three i like that it um gets it heats up really fast so gonna resection my hair i know some people spray each section like that they are flat ironing there we go but that's like a lot it's very lightweight. Like my Tresemme stuff seems way more. This is like oily. Okay. My Tresemme seems way more wet. If that makes sense. Alright, so all I have left is this one section. I want to emphasize the importance. Like, I was learning as I was going. I've never straightened my natural hair before. Um, so, I was learning about, you know, just chasing it and all that. Um, the slower you go, the better, you know, I guess the straighter it will get. I realized in the back I was like sh 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 rushing through. So, yeah, I also um, realized the importance of chasing it. But it's very hard to kind of coordinate your hands to chase each other. But it's, it, I don't know, you kind of catch on, I guess. And then it's also something else I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, I definitely need a trim. Um, I've trimmed on, trimmed, <laughs> I've trimmed on and off um, throughout the past two years. And, like, I sometimes I trimmed when it was blow dry. Sometimes I've trimmed when it was twisted up. Um, but I've never done, like, done, like, a consistent trim, you know, um, in my head. So, yeah, so far, so good. 
Um, I wish it had a little more body, but you know, like I said, I'm learning as I go. And um, yeah, I like my results so far. I'm going to wrap it up and I know it'll look better tomorrow. And I am going to show you guys my look for tomorrow, like when I unwrap my hair. And you know, my makeup is done and I'm actually going out. So yeah. <laughs> All right, good afternoon. Welcome back. So I actually slept in because I'm supposed to be picking up my car, but they actually just now getting finished with it. So I'm just like, whatever. Um, so I'm just like, whatever. I'm going to get dressed now and hopefully uh, they are done today. So oh, this scarf kept coming off last night and I was so annoyed because I had to rewrap it like three, four, five times. I don't know, but it was super annoying. So, um, I'm on FaceTime. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, this kept coming off. It was just not like, this is not a sleep scarf because it's like real silky satiny and yeah, I just don't have time. And my other one, I just washed it. So it's in my, um, my dark clothes that I need to fold up. So I didn't have time for all of that. So yeah, um, at least the wrap stayed, right? Uh. Yeah, my hair feels so light, like, lightweight. I'm like, what in the world? Um, I'm still not really caring for this right now as far as having it straight. I'm just used to my curly. Alright. Back in the day when we used to get those $8 doobies in Jersey, we would actually have a doobie comb that we used to unwrap the hair. Oh. I meant to warm up the flat iron. Well, I actually don't know. We'll see. Oh gosh, why did I wear lip gloss? Oh gosh. Oh. 
I felt like I was dying in there. Couldn't breathe. Oh my gosh. It came out really nice. This side. Oh wow. This is not a middle part. But I really don't know if I want to do a middle or a side. It's so light and like airy. Like oh my gosh. I feel like I'm talking about a wig. This side is way more voluminous, um, I guess because of the way I had it wrapped, but I'm not really sure. But, uh, anywho. That's pretty much it, y'all. This is my first time straightening my hair. I think I did a wonderful job. I think I did a wonderful job. I'm very happy with the results. Um, I like it better after it has been cut. And, yeah, it just feels better. And it looks really good. So, yeah, I'm very happy. So that's that. This is my hair um, after I did my little trim. Again, I went natural December, no, the end of November um, of 2015. And it is now 20, oh gosh, it's 2018. So yeah, I'm just very happy with the results. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed. And this was pretty fun. It took a long time, but it turned out really nice. So I'm very happy.